<sighs> okay. So, we're gonna go look at Spyro 2. You can see I did 93% of Spyro 1. And to be honest, I wasn't getting any challenges until like treetops in Beastmaker's area and the Metalhead area. And I was just sat there like, I could do this. I could watch a walkthrough. I could 100% this game. And it'd take maybe another hour of dealing with the harder levels of the games. But, um,. I just thought, oh, you know, I'm a bit burnt out with that. So we're going to just go play the sequel because, you know, nothing beats burnout than playing the sequel. Fun old man fact, in the PAL release, the PAL release, it was called Spyro Gateway to Glimmer. And I always forget that, like, outside of the UK and Europe, it was called Ripto's Rage. And I'm always sat there like... Why they felt the need to change that? Like, was Ripto's Rage too edgy? Ah! It's literally tied directly to the, like, ending of this, you see? That's one there's a Nork. Starting to feel like, as some of the comments on my Spyro 1 playthrough were, that the dragons are sort of racist. <laughs> like, you know, they like literally everything they do is like killing Norks. Oh, Hunter, stop being a pussy. What happened to the chick? What happened to Alora? They uggoed her up, and she was bad before. So they literally just another world has appeared. They also kind of ruined the professor. The professor was way cuter in his polygonal state. Now he just looks a bit like... I don't like the two-tone. I really don't like Alora. Alora used to be fit, man. <laughs> now she's like... Police. <laughs> like, if you said that this Alora was hot, you would get put in jail. <laughs> like... Ah, Ripto's here. So Ripto's essentially the, the mythical Hitler of this environment. Oh, and he's also a huge racist. I hey, get it, he's the strong dumbass. This is the mount. My cat's trying to kill everything. Well, you shouldn't call him Gulp then, because he's going to do that all the time. Wow. They really made him seem like a grumpy asshole, too. For all we know, Ripto did nothing wrong but be cranky. Hey! My cat's trying to make glass baubles roll onto the floor. Sorry, I'm just ruining this because my cat's being an ass. These messes. It's the sequel. This can't be messes plural yet. If you're saving your own kind the first time, I doubt that's it. Wait a second. My cat's trying to destroy the universe. No. You can't have it. You can't have the bauble. I'm putting it in a drawer. There's a glass, one of these glass drawer knobs. While I'm ruining the quality. Uh, how do I turn this down? That did not, there we go. Sorry, we'll start again now. <sighs> I can't remember what those shinies at the top are. 
I thought I was, yeah, I thought I was collecting the green shinies. So, I forgot it just chucks you into the first level. It doesn't chuck you. This isn't the hub world. I don't think. Now my cat's trying to destroy other things. Every time I LP, he hates LPs. Oh. Yeah, do you have people to talk to? So this time we're stealing other realms that we didn't know existed gems. Thanks camera, I forgot about camera. And now there's baskets instead of, because it's a different realm so they use baskets, whatever, or pots. I always thought they were baskets. The baskets, they can see the weave. Sick weave. Um, oh, I got so much to say. So we just flung into this universe, and like I said, like the fact that we use Nork almost as like remember the Norks are a group of people in Spyro One. So we're essentially every time we say <laughs> and use their their racist term as a perjurative one. Aren't we being racist? Yeah, they're assholes, but like maybe, you know, they are basically as well just orcs. This is something I didn't bring up. Oh yeah, we can flap up like this now. I feel like I get a lot more lift this time. Oh yeah, you need to, oh, they don't drop gems anymore. These are gems, obviously, but like the enemies don't, because the enemies exist to power shit. So it's called Gateway to Glimmer in the PAL version because the first gateway you go through is to this level, which is called Glimmer. So <laughs> it makes sense, but then you forget about Glimmer after doing it once because it's a pretty easy environment and you can 100% it the first time. Uh, so. Yeah, I can see why they were probably like, yeah, you know, kind of limiting the scope of most people's idea of what the game's about, because Glimmer's not the central hub world, and it's just a level. But, um, and you never come back to it, really. I'm literally trying to prove that I'm not going to come back to it by getting all the gems, and I think I can just move on. So basically she's, uh, you know in the first one the fairies had a red dress, now they have a yellow one and have a name. Pretty sure they used to have a name before though. Oh, I toasted the wrong mouse. Uh, oh, okay. So what I just said was bullshit, you have to have a special, they start bringing power-ups into it. This is still almost a flat texture, and I'm kind of annoyed about that. Um, flat, flat, oh, money bags, I remember you. Venture capitalist, the bear. Jeff Bezos. I'm here all week, but it is my home. I'm here all the time. At least these guys have more of a wind up than before. In the first game, they just go straight to splat. Yeah, I showed that wall. So this time we're going to another realm and stealing all their treasure, and there's no sign in it that we actually give the treasure. Oh, we give it to money bags. Uh, I'm an idiot. Trying to prove that the dragons are secretly evil imperialist assholes, and all I'm proving is that I'm not paying attention to details. <laughs> Fine. Are they? Everyone being four people. So yeah, like, uh, 
even as a kid, I thought this guy was a bit of an asshole. Cause like, really, you're gonna make me pay? Like, even. Please stop being the tooltip. Paperclip, lady. Um. What was I even saying? Yeah, even as a youngish kid, I was always sat there like, are you seriously, what the fuck? And this is way before microtransactions. So basically money bags prepped us all for microtransactions by being that asshole who's like, ha ha ha. And this game literally nods at the camera and says, ha ha ha, paying extra, that's fucking dumb, isn't it? Then that became the reality. Thanks for having the tape talisman. Yeah, you collect talismans this time. Great. They look like mouseketeers. I don't I'm not done yet though. I'll be done when I finish robbing your sacred lands. Literally, it's their job to mine these, and I'm just taking their profits. And my cat's trying to climb the walls again, because he's annoying. Uh, oh yeah, I remember these two. This is going to be a thing. This is a thing. Superfly. And pretty fly for a purple dragon. So basically, yeah, they start showing you these mini challenges. Oh, fuck off you, your bing, bing, bings, and your bong, bong, bongs. And it made an Illuminati symbol. Oh good, I'm glad you like gems because I'm stealing all of yours. We got this orb. At this point we literally don't know why we have orbs or what their meaning are, but it's okay. We also don't know what talismans are, they just gave them to us. Yeah. Oh, that's the exit, don't accidentally fall through there. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm piecing it all together. There's a lot of shit that you have to use. I Something about my mind goblins say, this is bullshit, and that I have to use the power-up this way is frustrating as fuck. And then I realized I didn't, because I just walked by the thing that I actually have to use it for. Oh, yeah. gem over there. I think the big problem is it's way more brightly colored and I'm not really seeing the gems as easily this time around. It's got to be something in there. I don't even know if I went in there. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. So I like the power-up gates but I also hate the power-up gates, you know what I mean? Ow. Oh. Hit the lizards with rocks. Yeah, some of these uh, are just dumb. Follow you to the next lizard. Oh, but, but I want to... Give me... I want the thing! Give me the thing! Oh, you little... Stupid mouse. So now I've lost him because I'm too busy trying to get this... Perp. Perp gem. Why is it not doing the the, the, the the hover? Do the thing! Oh! My cat's trying to kill himself again. 
these things you have to have a thing for. So basically what I said before is, you know, you, there's a lot of shit you... Ow, oh, that's not a lizard. I wonder where he went. Is he over here? So this is to improve replay value. They start giving you these challenges a lot, which is like backtrack through the level and help the guy do random menial tasks, which is sometimes fun and sometimes really frustrating and finicky and sometimes just really bland <laughs> for some reason. Like, go spit rocks at lizards. Why? Fuck you. That's why. Oh, they're coming out of those burrows. Okay. Sure thing, buddy. Wing, 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 wing. I left it too long. Sorry, this is just a terrible LP straight away. LP cancelled. Oh, I thought it was a red gem. This is just going bad. Uh, so fun facts that are neither that interesting, oh, okay, I'll, I'll just stop, but, um, oh, fucking get here, why am I such an idiot? Oh, you, I'm sorry, I'm getting so distracted. You have to aim. Yeah. Some of us aren't. Oh, I know. I'm trying to enter look mode, you stupid mouse. Don't even pay me for this. I'm just doing it. Where do you go now? Bastard. You go in here. I feel like you sometimes they go in here. I also feel like there's stuff down here that I completely ignored. Or did not. No, I just this. Uh, I was gonna do a Devil May Cry hard mode LP when I got bored of Spyro or something like this, and then they said we're gonna do Virgil DLC and the special edition, and I was like, oh god damn it. <laughs> like, you know. Well, I'm gonna have to wait that one out now. Do that later. And it's trending because algorithms. So everyone can whine it. It's not the best quality. Yeah, I don't want to buy the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these. I think you got to go fast, or is they, yeah, they turn off. Why? I'm sorry, it feels like there should be an archway in here for this to work because it runs out before you can really get here. Wait, is that just me? It's just me in it. Look at this little. Where's the mouse? Do I buy a rock off of money bags for 10 grand? Yeah, like, even as a kid, that did not feel good. Like, you want me to pay to cross this bridge, and it will literally stop me from progressing if I don't. Oh, you know, that, that makes you feel like shit. And then they turn that into a standard mechanic, and it's real money now, so. All right. See, you're not, it's just not enough time. See? Just saying. Uh, what else was I going to say about this game? Um, yeah, wow, Ripto is just literally given no agency whatsoever. You are literally shown Ripto and he tries to get you with his scepter and you're supposed to just go, Oh, bad guy, bad. And I used to think he was such a good villain. And it's literally like, for all we know, they woke him up at 6am, stole his coffee, 
were assholes <laughs> in some other generic way. You know, like, we don't, we don't know the story, man. I mean, I just want to know all the... Oh. See, what the fuck? I'm dumb. You, mouse. Oh, you, you, mm, I walked by you six times thinking you were a generic mouse. That's on me, I'm being mousist. Fine, we're following him this time. You'll probably go jump up a ladder now. Oh, he's going for it as well. So yeah, every level has at least one or two of these challenges, I think. I'll be wrong, but like, you know, it's good to be wrong, I think. But he's saying they stole his gems, but they're not dropping any, you know? And that's making me feel like he just has a hate boner for uh, these lizards, who are a bit annoying, to be fair. That I can't do basic platforming. Where is he? You can show me him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you never gonna question that? No, I found this on the floor. Some weird magical being just jumped out on the floor. Oh, there she is. Oh well. Oh, it's a weird place. I know you can you can burn their burn their state flags. Sorry, that's so mean. <laughs> all I've done is come into their their like place, clean them out of all accessible gems. Killed the local wildlife. Ah, yeah, now I see. So we gotta be at the ladder climb ability. Okay, we've done as much as we can here. Rob the locals and then be like, thank you, here's more treasure for murdering the local wildlife's children. Ah, I feel like I'm just trying to make this dark and edgy when it really isn't. Oh, they tried to do that, didn't they? That was when Elijah Wood voiced the, the dragon, and he was like, this is my destiny, and then they turned it into combat, and then everyone hated that, and now no one talks about it, even Elijah Wood. Frodo the dragon. Good, eat the rich. This Ripto is seeming better by the fucking day. <laughs> like, you know... Well, you walked away, so... <laughs> she used to have a ponytail, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> they gave me some sort of doodad. I was going to put it on the fridge. They gave you their holy relic. Yeah, I guess I'm a purple dragon in a place that didn't exist. What the fuck were you, dude? Yes. For some reason... Oh, I'm sorry, am I not good enough for you, Hunter, you cheap fucking racist? <laughs> uh, I will work with a dragon. Feelings of species racism as a theme <laughs> around this game. Oh my god! Yeah, where are your running shoes? Those used to remind me of the cheetah from Cheetos. Is that me just being like also cheetah racist? Oh man. So here's the hub world, everyone. It's pretty. 
and very similar to green green hills, emerald hills. I don't, I don't know. This fucked me so bad from the first bit. I was like, wait, what? There's gems underneath, but if I go in, I'll drown. Somehow he just learned how to swim in the five minutes from the end of Spyro the Dragon 1 to Spyro the Dragon 2 now. Ripto's, Ripto's M, Ein Perfect Welt. Ah, teleporting Alora. I'm sure she used to have a ponytail, and for some reason I thought she was called Bianca, because in the Crash Team Racing game, Hunter's like, oh, I can only be here a little while, and I should get back to my girlfriend Bianca, and I was like, wait, did, did he ends up dating Bianca, and I thought Alora was Bianca, and I was like, what the fuck? But actually, Bianca is like this rabbit that's, uh, god, what game was that? Into the Dragonfly? Are they making Into the Dragonfly canon? Tell me what, where's Bianca's from? Because one local people were willing to just chuck their most important cultural relic at you. Surely all of them will if you just show up and start setting fire to shit and stealing all their treasure. Because that's how people work. Like a frog. So a lot more work done with like shit, different fodder animals, not just one smallish open world for the hubs. Kind of pretty big. I don't think there's actually that many more, uh, this really fucked me up, <laughs> like I can't tell you how much this fucked me up. What happens if, oh, I can't swim underwater yet, you haven't learned this power. Now I have your power. Well, the As you go back to these things, you can, s you, you start to feel like, a lot more furry shit going on than we... Oh, thanks, flying mammal, for teaching me something I would naturally have learned how to do at this point in my life and couldn't have beaten the last game, if I, the last level, if I hadn't known. That's weird. Late tooltips. Colossus. Not the Russian superhero from X-Men. Oh, really? Oh, what would I have done if you hadn't existed? I wouldn't have known. If you're like, literally, I'll raise you a bridge, I will fucking stab you with my, with your shoes, because I'm not wearing any. This fucking capitalist pig. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I not rich enough for you? Fucking wealthy elite. I'm actually legit mad. <laughs> oh. Someone made this Ming Dynasty vase of pure metal. Pretty sure some uh, kind of thing the Chinese wouldn't have been able to do in that kind of era because finding strong metals in this area is actually quite hard. That's why Japanese swords as well are folded over thousands of times because the iron is really shit quality in this a this continent. <laughs> and the steel and the everything. Shut up, I know swords. Uh, fizz nature. Hug. I didn't check how many, uh... Oh, I have enough gems now to learn, but I can't be bothered, because fuck the police. I will not conform to your greedy, money-oriented society, you fucking pig. Pig bear. Uh, what was I going to say? This elitist shit. 
I thought you hated us. Sorry, I'm not good enough for you. Oh, sorry. I don't think I was agile enough there. Did you see me? Are you teaching me how to glide for the second time? Holy fucking shit, dude. And he was so stoned he couldn't even work out I was below his knob. You know a lot about flying for an animal that can't fly. I'm just gonna say it. That used to fuck me up as a kid because I was like, well, pressing two buttons. Yeah. Seriously, how does he know this shit? Whoa. I'm sorry, you were gatekeeping a progression item. Seriously, Hunter. What did they do to you, man? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm sorry, he literally would have like stood in the way of progress if I hadn't have done that, you know? So I'm just kind of going through the hub world and saying my thoughts. I had this really weird conversation with someone recently. I mean, talk about Sun Wukong and uh, how China is massively obsessed. They've got such a long history of like literature and art and everything that they do. Every new thing they try is, hey, we better adapt Sun Wukong and journey into the West into this thing. And you're literally like, the Monkey King is everywhere. Everything is the fucking Monkey King. Can you calm down? Yes, he is a monkey, and he is a king. He's pretty cool. He's also the basis for Son Goku, which is why he's called Son Goku. <laughs> like, literally. Obviously, like, Dragon Ball is Japanese, but you, you know what I'm making? Like, Jesus, man. There's enough media out there with Son Wukong, and like, oh, we're going to get in the gaming industry. Better fucking meet a Sun Wukong game. Fuck's sake. <laughs> like, yeah, we fucking get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can we please? And then he said something that just really fucked me over. He said, hey, Journey to the West, isn't that that furry thing? And I was like, oh my god, Sun Wukong may have been the first furry. <laughs> and I just need to share this psychic damage with everybody. Because I feel like that's just pissing on so much. Yeah, sorry, I have to... What? I have that many! Oh, no, I don't... Oh... I'm too poor. I can't get my swimming badge. Damn it! This game is a fucking laugh riot at the moment. Let me yo, keep going back to Glimmer. I don't wanna fucking yeah. What else is it? This is a huge area and it's more on the like once you get the swimming and shit. But like Colossus is a boss. I can't start with the boss, right? I feel like Idle Springs is also like level 4 in my brain. You know, I'm doing that thing where my mind goblins are like, no, you can't do Idle Springs. Idle Springs is not the next level. A summery kind of watery level is. I'm like, oh, fine, we're doing this. Maybe I'm thinking of the demo. I played the demo discs back in the day, man. Oh, it's half an hour already. I'm tempted to break it, but like, I'm gonna do two levels. Yeah, these guys. I always thought this was level four. My creation! And look at this fucking Chad's idea. 
<laughs> you gotta admire that. <laughs> guy's got guy's got some ideas. See something come to life and yeah, make me some. <laughs> that must be fucking embarrassing. Hey man, I was carving this lifelike thing and it just decided to say fuck you man. I didn't ask to be born dad. <laughs> He's just wrecking ow His marshmallow toasty. Oh, they unlock it. Why well, I say unlock it, they hit it with a hammer. Oh, see, now you have to start going back for half the shit, because it's like, oh, you, this progression is locked off until that greedy Jeff Bezos motherfucker gets his money. Fuck Bezos. Bezos. Fuck Bezos. Uh, sir? Sir? He literally has... Nothing to say. He's just gonna self harm in front of me. It's such a fucking dark game. I feel like the whole carvings and wooden masks in a Polynesian or pseudo Polynesian style was really popular in this time period. When you think about Crash and Spyro's aesthetic of, like, kind of incorporating this a lot with the weird ruins and the, just the generic, generic ancient, oh, I've been doing it again, this is making me really uncomfortable. No, really? Pressing charge makes me charge? Huh. Seriously, they have nothing to say, they just want to self-harm. No wonder there's no women. They all left, your weird asses. Sorry, that, uh, now I've said that, I feel like that's a really horrible thing to say. I didn't think that sentence through. We should be addressing their problems. We should really be addressing this poor bastard's <laughs> Oh yeah! Did a juggle. Can one of them at least speak to me, man? Break the awkward silence of my poorly thought out sentences. So just smacking themselves in the face and making me grossly uncomfortable. You should make these jokes, man. Don't do it. Good. This one knows. No! <laughs> Fucking. What even are they? They're like green humanoid things. Oh well. They're just called form and this, and none of them are speaking to me. If I didn't know that, I wouldn't have gotten very far because your camera is a pain in the ass. Seriously, they, they don't do anything. It's making me really un uncomfortable, I don't know why. I'm helping them, and I feel like, well, why am I helping you? Because you're just sitting there like, no context, no additional... There you go. I saved you, can you... Okay. Smack some things. Oh, I remember you. Yeah, we're not doing this. Not yet. I think we need some shit. And also, I'm bad at it. Puzzle. Like RE puzzles, I just keep doing, brute forcing it without thinking. Can you talk to me? You managed to blunder through our fucking nightmare world. Here's a free talisman. Literally, they do. Only the foreman with hard hats can speak. Is it because they got head protection and they haven't bashed their brains in too much yet? This is a weird game. It's really pretty though. Hey, look at this. Look at these nice trees. Whatever I'm looking at here. 
Oh, it's one of these. Do the thing. Oh, supercharged too. Oh. I did it. So, I'm not going to speculate what he was doing in an <laughs> area only. Thank you, orb lady. Even more collectibles this time, you may have noticed. So basically, they couldn't jump down from a fairly tallish step, and me crashing them into the ground conveniently helped them with whatever they were planning on doing. No one asked me to do that. I just did it because I saw an opportunity. At no point did someone, oh, if you did this, it would stop the thing. Maybe if I'd spoken to this chick, though. Same. Like all the guys. I don't like it. Looks like I can go in there. It's no part of the level. Can I just. Can I just. I cannot. That would be cool. Busting it down like the Kool Aid Man. Oh. This is a bizarre. I remember a lot of these levels, but some of them I'm just like, hey, you know, you you just think, oh yeah, that was acceptable as a kid, and now as an adult, you're like, what the fuck? That's really weird when you think about it. Why would they? And you just say, oh, I'm not supposed to think about it because it's like a brightly colored platform for children. And you're like, yeah, but it's just so strange. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, they're not fireworks now. Fireworks were too offensive. Now they're deadly rockets. Oh, I'm glad I fucked that up. It's almost like there was a giant stone statue blocking my view just to make this more frustrating for everybody. No! Seriously? Oh, fuck you! Sparks! Do some bullshit! Sparks will not help me. No help from friend. God damn it. We have to go all the way around again. Oh, I don't feel good. And I can't even get all the gems. I can't 100% anything. Because it's literally locked off from, like, power-up shit. Oh, it feels bad, man. Can't 100% first run. Stop it! <laughs> You'll hurt yourself, stupid greenman. Go talk to your hula girls. Too busy smacking themselves in the face with a hammer. I actually forget how this works. I think I got a headbutt shit. Oh, more stuff. I just want to look out here, just in case. It's a whole new area. It is not. No, no, no. So let's check. I 
I mean, they did great work HD resing a lot of this, because before it didn't look this good, obviously. Let's go all the way back for some shinies, because I can't leave the shinies. Seriously. Uh, I forgot where I'm going. Oh, mm. a really nice environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, take that, society. Can't stop me now, Rich. Ha <laughs> ha, ruining your culture. Not much help for them anyway. <laughs> Solid ass guys, though, I have to admit. reason I remember this level being harder than it is. Maybe it's because you go back a lot. I mean, you have to admit, Spyro 1, you go through it very quickly. Right? These nice little intro outros now. Yeah, it was very short and very easy to 100% in comparison, like very little time needed to do so. So in comparison, uh, they must have thought, well, wow, how can we pad the runtime like Crash Bandicoot did, make people still keep playing the game? Oh, I know, we'll add like five different things for them to collect. Uh, progression walls and, you know, and all this shit. To kind of like, you know, give the game more of a thing, more runtime, pad it a bit. Okay, well, that's the first first one for the time being. I'll take a quick break and then I'll come back. <laughs> 